In this morning's Health Watch, an exciting prospect for breast reconstruction for women. It involves using stem cells and the body's own fat to essentially regrow breast tissue. Medical correspondent Dr. Jennifer Ashton is here to tell us about this. You hear about regrowing breast tissue. Uh, how exactly does this work? Erica, this is a procedure that involves fat and stem cells. So a patient's own fat and stem cells are combined in the lab. Growth factors are added. It's then injected into a biodegradable chamber in the breast. Um, a blood supply is attached to feed these cells and in about six to 12 months, that tissue then creates the form and shape of a breast. Which just sounds, I mean, to wrap your head around that sounds amazing. What type of stem cells are we talking about? Well, we though? hear about stem cells all the time, and they're found in a variety of sources. They can be found in embryos. They can also be found in umbilical cord blood and in our own bone marrow. And what makes them so powerful is these are naive cells that can then go on to become almost anything, and that's what's so important. So you're essentially training them to turn in to breast cells. Exactly. Prior to this, what most women, if they were going to have reconstructive surgery, it would involve something with an implant. This is a little bit different. It sounds great, but part of it sounds almost good to be true, too good to be true. Correct, and there are always caveats here. One important thing though, Erica, is a lot of women unfortunately aren't even offered options about reconstruction, so this really needs to reopen that dialogue. In terms of the drawbacks, at this time, the, we spoke to two experts yesterday, and they really told me the big concern here is that as this tissue and this fat cell is being stimulated with growth factors to grow and develop, the concern is that you don't re-stimulate the cancer cancer cells. Mm -hmm. So right now in this country, this is not FDA approved. There are no clinical trials going on yet, but these experts with whom I spoke yesterday are very hopeful that in the next five years, we can see this uh, being done in this country. That sounds actually like a fairly short period of time in the next five years that it could be Correct. Here. And it's being done right now in various countries, and including this one for cosmetic reasons. Mm -hmm. Also important for women with breast cancer, sometimes they have that cancer removed with a little lumpectomy. That also can create a cosmetic defect so there are multiple applications for this procedure. So this would be for someone who maybe didn't have a full mastectomy or double mastectomy, but just a small portion of the breast, it could regrow that Correct, area. either or. Very, very exciting. This is the major focus in plastic surgery and reconstructive surgery now, using stem cells to regrow tissue. Well, we'll continue to look at it. We know you'll stay on top of Absolutely. it, Jen. Thanks.